Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to create a virtual product. And now we've done downloadable products, and virtual products are different because with a virtual product, you're not really getting anything, right? You're not getting a set of files or anything like that. So, what can be used for a virtual product? Well, one thing, uh, maybe like a software license, right? So, let's go ahead and I'm, first I'm going to add a new category to our site. Um, sort of bugged me in the other tutorial uh, when we could not add, uh, you know, the right category for the T. So I'm going to do add a subcategory, and it's going to be software license. Okay, save this, and of course I forgot to enable it. So let's scroll down here and select is active, save category. Now we see it here, software license. Cool. Now let's go to manage products. And we're going to do a new product, and it's going to be a default attribute set, and it's going to be a virtual product. Let's click continue. And now this is just going to be um, actually, instead of a uh, software license, this can be a level up Tuts uh, Pro one year account. Uh, level up Tuts Pro does not exist, and if it did, that might not even be its real name. Um, it, it's something that could be possible. Um, and it's not going to have any text class, and it's going to be available on catalog and search. Notice how I just have random SKU. Hopefully, I haven't used this number before. Other than that, nothing crazy. But this is really just giving a user one year access to Level Up Tuts Pro. Okay, and the price uh, for one year is, let's just say it's a hundred bucks. I don't even know what that gets you, but uh, I'm telling you it's worth it. So I don't have any images or anything, no big deal. And, um, not the test. Pro, okay, cool. And of course, short description, long description, you want that to be accurate. Uh, in fact, in a virtual product, this may be, I mean, it's important with all your products, uh, but to make sure you have customer satisfaction, you're going to want to make sure that they know exactly what they're getting with this product and that they're not expecting some, you know, crazy thing that you're not going to be able to deliver because this product doesn't really exist in any shape or form as a physical or digital entity. And you can enable a reoccurring profile. I'm going to save that for another video. A reoccurring profile would allow you to actually treat this like a real subscription and have it automatically renew every year, every month, that sort of thing. So uh, we're going to say no to that for now. And then we're not going to have any gift options. Um, quantity, uh, we're going to say is in stock. No, we're not managing stock. There's infinite amount of these. Uh, and then we're going to have this available in the main store and in our software license category. I should actually should be subscriptions now, uh, whatever. And then we're not going to have any related products because this is something totally unique. And we could add custom options maybe if they wanted like a pro elite account that got you something more, uh, which also doesn't exist. So um, you could, of course, add a custom option. In fact, let's do that. We can just say e elite member and it's just going to be a checkbox. And then add new row. Um, and this is just going to be uh, yes. Um, I don't know if yes is the right word. Either way, this is just going to be $50 more. And the price is going to be fixed. Um, of course, crazy skew. And um, now if they select this yes, um, it's going to add $50 on and they're going to be an elite member, which apparently will get them something additional. Now if we save this, uh, we should be seeing our product on the home page. So let's refresh our account, our page here. We now see software license with our new category. If we click this, we can see our level up Tuts Pro one year account. So let's select this and keep in mind that simply by purchasing this product, they're not getting anything, right? Uh, in fact, you would have to manually, as a uh, Level Up Tuts creator, enable their account that they purchased this on to be a one-year pro account. And in fact, you might even need a custom option that's a text box 
that uh, make sure that they give you their email, even though you already have it, but make sure that their email that's associated with your Level Up Tuts account or something. And of course, I want to be an elite member, so I'm going to click yes. I'm going to add this to my cart. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete some of this stuff out of here so we can see what actually happens when you purchase a virtual product. Because this, of course, is very different than um, your downloadable products or your physical products or anything like that. So let's proceed to check out. It's 150 bucks. Yes, I have my fake address in here. I hope uh, that's all right. I'm going to pay with check or money order and let's click continue place the order and it's been placed. Thank you. Uh, here's your receipt and let's click your order. So let's check this out. And now I have in my orders a uh, basically an item that says I purchased this one year account for 150 bucks. That's my record of the account. But what do I get out of it? I get nothing, right? I get absolutely nothing unless the Level Up Tuts uh, website person goes ahead and changes my account to actually be a one year pro account. So purchasing a virtual product literally does nothing. Uh, in fact, that, you know, uh, it, it's really just giving money for something, right? Uh, and that something is a virtual service or uh, item. Maybe it's a software license that has to be generated. So then they purchase this, you generate the software license, and then you email them uh, that license number. So this is a virtual product. There is no product, uh, but you're spending money on it. So uh, this is just one instance in which it could be useful, but I'm sure you could think of tons of others. You could Google tons of others. They're out there. So if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We'd love to hear from you all the time. It's, it's great. So thanks for watching. This is Scott Talinsky, and have a good one. Bye.